Welcome to the next episode of the meal prep series. This one's chicken Caesar salad. It's super easy to make, tastes absolutely incredible. And the Caesar dressing that goes with this is one of my secret recipes and it tastes absolutely delicious. Like always, I'll leave all of the nutritional values in the video and in the description, as well as a list of ingredients and notes. So make sure you go check that out. And I'm holding a giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around for that. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. All right, let's start by making a non-traditional Caesar dressing that's better than the traditional. So add one whole egg to a tall jar or container, along with one teaspoon or 10 grams of Dijon mustard, slice off a strip or quarter one lemon, squeezing in the juice, which should amount to one and a half teaspoons or 15 milliliters without any sneaky seeds, and 160 milliliters or two thirds of a cup of any neutral flavored oil. Place in an immersion blender and mix this up until it forms a thick emulsion and that's thick with three C's. Also an emulsion is mixing two or more liquids that usually don't mix well. Next we need one clove of freshly peeled garlic that can be ran along a fine microplane to create a paste and make sure to scrape it all out of there to avoid waste, plus we need it all. And also 20 grams or 0.7 ounces of parmesan cheese can also be ran along a microplane and if you don't have a microplane just use the smallest side of a box grater as we need this to be really fine and not chunky. With that done, add the garlic paste and grated parmesan into the mayonnaise, also adding in six anchovy fillets, which is what makes Caesar dressing so special, so please don't skip these, and of course some cracked black pepper. 20 cracks worth. Get back in there again with the immersion blender and blitz this all up until smooth, and the reason we don't add everything at the beginning is we need to create a stable emulsion before adding in the additional ingredients, which then leaves us with this perfect Caesar dressing that really is delicious. This can then be portioned into five separate containers, which I got from the supermarket if you're wondering, place on the lids nice and tight, and these can be stored in the fridge for up to seven days. Also, the reason we're not putting it in the salad now is because it will become very soggy. For the salad, let's make some croutons. This is a simple white loaf, but you can use any bread of your choice. And we're going to need five fairly thick slices. That's if you wanted to add croutons to the salad, but I do highly recommend doing so as they add amazing texture. With the slices, tear them up into even sized pieces, placing them onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. And with the tearing, it creates a more rough edge and rustic look rather than just slicing them into cubes, which you can do. I just find tearing is so much better. Drizzle over one and a half teaspoons or 15 milliliters of olive oil to help them crisp up. Sea salt flakes to taste and cracked black pepper. 10 cracks worth. Then just pop these aside for a minute. Next is five or six rashers of bacon. I asked for six, but only got five, so that's what we've got in this one. And these can just be placed onto a baking tray line with parchment paper too, trying your best to not overlap them. Both the bread and bacon can then go into a preheated oven set at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes, or until your desired bacon doneness. The lettuce we're using for the salad is three baby cos lettuces or romaine lettuce as they have a really great crunchy texture to them and all we need to do with this is shred or chiffonade it into even sized bits, trimming off the core and placing it into compost if you have one. It is then recommended to put this into a colander and rinse it under cold water as they can be quite dirty and just allow it to drain well. The last bit of prep is the chicken, and this right here is three breasts that weigh 700 grams or 1.5 pounds. You can cook these whole, which I've shown a few times across the channel, but for this particular recipe, we're going to butterfly them by slicing them carefully down the side to open them up and slice straight through the middle to create even sized fillets, just like so. We then want to tenderize them either using a meat mallet or if you don't have one, the bottom of a saucepan and just spank your breasts to even them out or any thick with three C's parts, making them all the same size so that they'll cook at the same rate. Season them with sea salt flakes, leaving us with this, and we can now get these cooking. Place a large pan over medium high heat. Once hot, add in one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of olive oil and add in the chicken fillets, trying your best to not overlap them and sear them for three minutes on each side. I'll be waiting for someone in the comments to say that the chicken needs more seasoning, but the salt is more than enough and your opinion isn't part of my recipe. We want to actually taste the chicken and not just a mix of herbs and spices, which won't work well with the Caesar dressing anyway, which is what makes this dish so special. Of course, we can then hit these up with some cracked black pepper. Use however much you want. And once these have been searing for six minutes and are just cooked through, remove and allow them to rest. Right about now, the croutons and bacon will be ready so we can just get these out of the oven and make sure that the croutons are completely dry and crunchy. And if you like your bacon a little bit more crispy, just leave it in for a little bit longer. Once the chicken has rested for 10 minutes, we can then slice it up into thick strips. And it's up to you if you want to leave it like this or dice it up just like so. Also, slice up the bacon into thick strips, which can also be diced if you prefer, but the bigger slices are better through the salad. All right, with all that done, place the drained cos or romaine lettuce into a large mixing bowl, also adding in the sliced or diced chicken, the sliced or diced bacon, and the crispy croutons, sliding them down the parchment paper express. 
Let's then get our clean hands in there, nice and deep like, and mix everything really well until evenly distributed, and portion this out into 5 meal prep containers, making sure that they all have even amounts of ingredients. Peel over some parmesan cheese with the amounts being completely up to you, and make sure you get those Instagram shots because did you really meal prep if you didn't Instagram it? Of course with all of that done, allow these to cool down before placing on the lids, and the nutrition card is only for the salad without the dressing. Now the meal prep series started off with just being something fun to do on the side, but it has soon become something pretty serious, and because of that I can proudly say that I have partnered with Lavelli, who create premium kitchen products such as the meal prep containers that I'm using in this video, and to celebrate our partnership, they're giving away three of the sets that I have in front of you. This set is a four piece meal prep container set which is made from borosilicate glass which is really strong, and the lids are made from stainless steel and food safe silicon. The sizes are 2.5 litres, 1.3 litres, 750 millilitres, which is what I'm using in this video, and 450 millilitres. The best part about these containers is that they come with a vacuum seal pump, which extracts all of the air out of the containers, allowing certain foods to last up to three to five times longer, and it also comes with a neat little case for safe storing. The way it works is on top of the lids is a little air vent, which can easily be opened and closed by hand, and all you need to do is place the pump over the vent, push the button on top of the pump, and leave it to extract and vacuum seal the containers. The pump will then stop to complete, which can then be popped off, and for an example, it is nearly impossible to open the lid, which obviously preserves the food, but also prevents spills and mess. When it comes to removing the lid, all you need to do is pop open the vent, which will sound like you're opening a can of soft drink, and the lid will then easily be removed with very little pressure. Like I said, to celebrate our partnership, Lavelli are giving away three of these sets, and all you need to do is click the link in the description to enter, which you can do multiple times, and of course it's completely free. I also need to say thank you all for watching the channel, because without you, none of this would be possible, so thank you very much. Back to the recipe, the salad will last 5 days and the dressing will last 7 days, both stored in the fridge, and this right here is everything together, and this is for a single portion. The only thing that's then left to do is add our delicious dressing to the salad, mix it all really well, and we can then dig in. <laughs> 